hi guys and welcome back to another video so I have six rainbow heidels still to unbox through that crazy haul today so I think I want to unbox cheer ruby I'm gonna be unboxing the order um, of the rainbow without indigo because no one ever counts indigo as part of the rainbow. I'm just gonna get back here so you guys can see. She's the only one whose box didn't get damaged, so I kind of feel bad opening up her first, even though they'll all be opened. So I honestly don't think this line, specifically the Cheers line, will go up a lot in price. Cheer lines never do. Like, just generally, budget lines don't go crazy. Please don't be super jealous. Ah, it's not terrible, actually. I think it's just to handle with the, with the crimping. I'm going to scoot forward. This doll does not stress me out as much as the other ones with their second outfits. I, I love the second outfits, but I'm just like... They're almost like fashion packs, and everyone really wants fashion packs. I'm like, no, no, please don't do that, because, well, I probably wouldn't get every fashion pack, but it's also like, I just don't like, like with these kind of dolls, I just want to put them in an outfit, and that's it. Because, like, especially because their hand situation, like, coming off and on and off and on, and it's like, it will break at some point. It just, it just will. And I'm not, I'm not about that. Contrary to popular belief, I'm not about things that I spent money on or things that I own breaking. It was just a joke. There is no popular belief. See, this is fine with the crimps being gelled. I don't know. Like, it's not super pleasant to touch, but it also, like, makes sense. So, the cheer dolls, I just, I do think Rainbow High dolls will last a long time. I think that they will definitely be... Um, some resale value for a lot of the, uh, for a lot of the dolls. I just don't really see it happening as much with the cheer line and any other budget lines that may occur. How am I going to get this off? Oh my god. Okay, so this is not fun. I love how their nails are coming painted now. I know everyone was like complaining about the hands and saying OMG hands were better. Am I the only one who doesn't like the OMG hands? Like they're just too... I just am not a fan. I don't know what they are, but it's not my favorite type of thing. <sighs> okay. We'll just try and get her out of the package first. As always, these dolls have weirdly difficult packaging to get through. Um, Ruby is such a gorgeous doll in this line. I love her hair. And when I say I don't think that they're going to cost as much as, say, their Series 1 counterparts or even... Some series two dolls, I don't mean that they're worse or just people tend to see budget dolls as some type of way. Plus, with the markings on their faces, which I do really, really enjoy. They make sense to me. I like them. And I wouldn't ever take them off. A lot of people have been, and that's their choice because it is the doll that they bought and they should enjoy her the way they want. But still, 
I definitely am a fan, actually, of them. And normally I'm not like, woo, cheerleader line. But, I don't know. I like these. <sighs> she is really in here. Okay, let's get her a bit more free. just like came off at this one. See, even the back is gelled, so that's when I become okay with it. It's just like, when it's not like, oh, the back is super soft and lovely, and the front is literally like one continuous piece. <laughs> okay. focus on this and there's no like outfit to a box at the end to like entertain you guys and I thought I had lost her head for a second I was like oh no 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 okay so this doll literally wants to be weird and be as all rainbow high dolls are Insanely difficult to um, unbox. <sighs> Man, we will get this off. I'm just kind of trying to that off at this point and I'm just kind of trying to tear it. <sighs> okay, so can I hook this? It's just like so tight. And they're just like so impossible to cut. Oh, here we go. It's long enough to cut. I should have gotten my other two rubies for like a comparison. There we go. Okay. Now we just have to remove this. Okay, so this one is hair I will not be washing. Um, so, definitely this hair is incredible. I love this. This is literally just... Does she only have a mark on one side of her? Oh yeah, she's got the fire. Under her eye on the other side, same purple eyes. Her lips are like an ombre glossy. Very similar, actually, to the Series 2 Amaya's lips. Um, darn, I really, really wish that I had gotten my other two rubies to compare. But, yeah, her hood is 
like more of a loop so that you can actually put it over her head, I guess. But she's got this fantastic hairstyle with all these clips. And of course, I didn't remove this yet. Was anyone going to tell me? Okay. Does anyone else think that no child could really open these? Like, they're like, oh, six to 12 years. I'm like, yeah, to open six to 12 years to get the thing, you know, get the doll out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ow! Shoot. I literally just cut my finger. Okay. So, that just happened. Ow. I think I just cut the skin, though. Okay. This is why they need to make these easier to open. That really, really hurt. How am I not bleeding like crazy? That really should have done more damage. Not that I wanted it to, but like... Okay. Okay, come on. This is, oh, what if I just pop the hand off? That may be what I have to do. Oh, I just popped to pop the pom-pom off. And one, two, three. Okay, put the pom-pom back on. There you see the title of this video, Watch Me Open Sheer Ruby in such a poor way that I cut myself. Oh well. This is that doll. Alright. Very kind of reminds me of like a cave club doll, like Emberly, you know. Those are such cool dolls. Actually, I'm going to be unboxing the boy Slate, who I randomly found like two months ago and have not unboxed yet. Soon. Soon. Bye!